Welcome to episode 628 of the Two Minute Takeaway Podcast. Hi, I'm Ken Ockel. Got a warning for you. Watch out for mixed messages at work because they can easily undermine your business. Think of it as a form of self-sabotage. These messages, when you're doing one thing, but perhaps saying another, can take many forms. Let's focus on those that involve employee culture and customer service. First, alignment issues. Recently, I went to a bank just as it opened for the day. I have to admit, I had not been in this branch for quite a while. Right away, I noticed it had been nicely remodeled. Lighting and lighter colored fabrics gave the place a friendly and inviting feeling. Someone had thought about this first and ongoing impression. Unfortunately, the message was lost on some of the employees. What do you want? And I don't have time to help you. And I'm very busy. Were some of the comments barked at customers. Remember, the bank had just opened. Even if this was the most hectic day at a bank, there's no excuse for these mixed messages at work. Why make people feel welcome with decor and then make them feel uncomfortable and unwanted with bad behavior? It appears the renovation was a waste of money. Employees need to understand their behavior must match the organizational branding and decide whether hectic days gives them the right to abandon those values. Next, team culture. While the messaging may say, we're all in this together, are the different levels of your organization treated the same way? Whether it's cutbacks or perks, does it seem that some are treated better than others? Some believe their position gives them the right to bend the rules or enjoy opportunities others never receive. Sometimes perception is not reality. For instance, an executive may work late for weeks, but it goes unnoticed because few see it. But if that same employee leaves work a half hour early one time, they may be perceived as receiving favorable treatment. Make sure standards and expectations are communicated and followed by all levels of your organization. Otherwise, resentment will grow like a weed in people's minds. Finally, let's talk about hiring and onboarding. Consider the messages employees give to new hires. Sometimes these can be nonverbal, like rushing through important training or appearing impatient with answering questions. These issues may be rooted in people not believing training is part of their job or they're not given time to focus on the task as they try to deal with an unreasonable workload. There are also some who will say things like, Welcome to hell, to new employees. While your business may have some shortcomings that annoy employees, immediately pointing them out does not create a positive workplace culture. How can you prevent these mixed messages at work? Some leaders say treat new employees like your mother. Others take a more direct approach and say treat new employees like your job depends on them. This behavior can also work in customer service. A new employee welcome needs to be a welcome, and it must be embraced by all. Bad experiences on day one will likely make some start to look for a better position elsewhere. Want to find out if I am taller on stage? If so, then go to my website, kenokel.com. While there, you can read some of my articles, you can watch some clips of me on stage, and you can sign up for my three-part course, It's Free!, That's all about improving your performance on the job. Thanks so much for listening. Hope you're enjoying this series. Subscribe if you want to hear more. I'm Ken Okel. Take care.